Okay, hello and welcome back to my bullet journal. The good news is I have been in the same journal the whole time. No, I did not make my fingernails match on purpose. I just now realized that they do. Anyway, I've finally stayed in one bullet journal since the previous video. So let's all just take a minute to be excited about that for me. This is my monthly pictures. So I'm printing out a couple of pictures from each month. I did three picture printouts from January and I've done two for February, hopefully in the next few days that are left in the month of February. Nothing, nothing's gonna happen that I wanna take a picture of. We will be picking up our finished pottery pieces at the beginning of March. So uh, hopefully those pictures will go on the March side because I wanna note the difference in the day we painted them and when we picked them up. Anyway, our whole family did that. It was a pottery day. We had a lot of fun. Then we have the temperature blanket. Now, you can see I've gone all the way through the 18th of February, but if you, I'm not sure how zoomed in my thing will go, but if you can see that little tiny pencil mark, on February 2nd, that's where I am in actually creating the blanket. So I will show you, this is what it looks like. This is January 1st and this up here is February 2nd. Yes, the end of it is a little bigger than the other end because I'm holding onto it like this, but it is large for just being 31 days. Like I don't know how how big this is going to end up being. So I think it's going to be really big. I mean, imagine that 12 times bigger. It's going to be large. Anyway, our side quest from my deck that comes from this Heroes Journal side quest deck. And every week I pull a different card out. There are 52 cards in here. There are 52 weeks in the year. Now I know I've already missed a week. So I'm just gonna keep going and we'll see when I end this. But the only thing so far that I have not done is rearranged a room. Everything else I have been able to complete in the week. And I draw those on Sundays when I go live on my channel. So I try to go live every Sunday. It doesn't always happen. The goals have still not been written out completely. I do have goals, but I have not gone through and actually written them all out here. Then we have the Buzzwordathon. I have updated January and February. February, it was positive words, and I read Sweet Home Alaska. March is going to be a character name in the title. Then, Storygraph. If you've seen my Storygraph challenges, I'm doing Reading Randomizer and Randomize Ish Your TBR. So I'm putting the two books for each month that I drew to read. And once I finish them, I will underline them or highlight them or check them off in some kind of way. But so far, I have not finished any of the eight books that I have picked so far. But my Gerbitathon Lost in the Pages of Time store, is it's a bookshop. It is a sci-fi themed, this is the theme, sci-fi. I had to read a book that was over 400 pages, that was the toll, and then I had to read two books that had words for my title in there. So Lost is from Where the Lost Wander, and Time is from The Price of Time. So Lost in the Pages of Time is the name of my bookshop. So from the outside, it's supposed to look rustic and all kinds of stuff, and then when you go inside, it's sci-fi and everything's futuristic. I just thought that would be cool. Anyway, the rest of these Gerbitathon pages are just playing catch up right now. This one is for all seasonal boards. So right now we have winter, then we'll have spring, summer, and fall. That's how the seasons work. And so in winter, we have a bingo board with a bunch of different activities on it or certain types of books to read or tro tropes to read or whatever. And so I thought I was going to do Sweet Home Alaska right here. I see that I made a note about it, but I actually did it up here because this was for a middle grade set in winter and Sweet Home Alaska, they moved to Alaska. And the thriller horror set in snow, I could 
use in the bleak midwinter for that, but I'm trying not to double dip. So I think I'm gonna try to find a different book to read because I still have the whole month of March as well to finish this before we start April, May, and June in the spring one. So these are technically things that have been added to my, my business over here. So my little bookshop cafe has holly decorating it, the ski jackets and glove, a raincoat, the snowdrop flowers, some coffee, and a log fire. We have a thermostat, a bobble hat hanging on the door. We have hot chocolate and another warm hat, and then a gingerbread house just decorating the place. So those are all things that are inside right now specifically for winter to kind of decorate up the shop. I, then I have the NPCs and employees that I've got to get added on here somehow, but I have not read for any of them. I've been so focused on trying to get this done that I haven't even thought about the NPCs or the employees. The NPCs are the people who come in and buy the books from my bookshop cafe, and they all have different prompts that you read for and all of that stuff. Same thing, my employees get trained and they get trained based on what I read. So I'm sure based on the books that I have already read in February that I do have some NPCs who could have been shopping and some employees to work in the shop. I've just not had time to actually sit down and go through everything and fix it all. Then we have the 50 before 50. I'm not gonna go through these because I'm gonna do an update on my 50 before 50 soon, but you can see the ones that are blue I read in January and the ones that are pink I read in February, so far in February. And so this is the first spread or the, like the first double page spread of them and then I have one more spread. Then we have the Aeldia or the Aurelium everything about the Aurelium Readathon. So I have Adrian and Emmeline are my two characters. Adrian is going on this path and Emmeline is going on this path. For January, these are the books I read. And then for February, these are the books I read. January, they didn't really have options. February, they had options. March, they're not gonna have options because it goes back down to one book. But then in April, it's gonna be over here because we're going to Aurelium in April. So. There's no April down here because we'll be over here putting in their spring classes over here. And then I'll do the same thing when we go to school in the fall. 2424s and 2024 is probably not happening. It still looks like this. I've barely done anything. I love the idea of it. I just can't think of 24 things to do 24 times. Then books to read in 2024. I have to read them or remove them from my story graph TBR. So you can see the ones that have the pink around them I read in February. The ones that have the blue around them I read in January. So I'm actually doing a really good job with this list. I'm really proud of what I have been focusing on and prioritizing these books. And there are so many of these that are on current TBRs right now that when I get to them, I will have them done. I'm actually currently reading Book Scavengers and The Grace of Kings. So two more on this book are, I mean, on this sheet are going to be coming off. These are all the books that I have read in 2024. So I just updated it last night to make sure it was completely caught up. This is all of January plus to right there where that blue line is. And then this is all February so far plus whatever's going to come down here. So I, I really like it. You can see that there's so much green on here because I read so many of the in-depth books and they're all mysteries. So I read them all and it made everything green. Plus I just sent, tend to read more mysteries apparently than other things. This is my January tracker. If you saw that, you saw what I did in January. This is my cycles. So my life runs in two week cycles. That's kind of how I have it set up. That's how I like it. And so I have all of these things happening or coming up over the next couple of weeks. And then we get into the way I create my cycles. I did this for the first time in cycle three to just check it out, see what I thought about it, and I loved it. I liked the way it worked. There were some things I wanted to change and do different next time. So when I created it for this week, this is where we are right now, I didn't draw a line at the bottom to end it. That way I could keep adding more things because that was one of the issues from the first time. And I wrote not as many things to do each day because I found myself not getting everything done over here because I was giving myself too many things to do. 
Then I have my February calendar, which is all the books I've read so far in February. And I've done the same thing over here where I put a circle when I started. And then there is an arrow if I finished and an X if I DNF'd it. So I have DNF'd three books in February, but that is also because I'm reading all of those books on my Storygraph TBR and I'm allowing myself to DNF them if I want to because I put them on there because they sounded good, not because I just knew I was going to love them or I really wanted to read them. They sounded like they would be interesting and then if they're not, I'm not going to make myself read them. But that is it. The next one, the next page right here will be my February matrix where I will rank all the books I read in February. And then over here, I don't know what I'll put over here. Maybe I'll put a March cover page because I never do that. But I need something that kind of separates where we are from where we're going kind of situation because the January matrix took up a whole page, but I'm not going to be doing February the exact same. So we'll see. That's going to change a little bit. You'll just see that when it comes up. But that's everything that I've added. Oh, I wanted to know, like when I go in and update these things and when I update like what books I picked for this and when I update, not really my 50 before 50 because I do that with you, but when I'm updating these boards and these kind of things right here, do you want it where I go over it like this, where I like say, here are these things and here's this thing? Or do you want me to actually do it? Like, do you want to see me putting the pictures in here and updating the books and all of that stuff? Or do you just want me to show it to you afterwards? If you have a preference and if you have an opinion, I would love for you to share it down below. Otherwise, that is going to do it for this little flip through. I have stayed in the same book for... I don't know, two weeks at this point, three weeks maybe. Anyway, it deserves a party of some kind, I feel like. So leave me some kind of party emoji down below if you've made it this far to celebrate me staying in this book the whole time. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.